Hey, I'm Wasibuddin. You already know why you're here today. In this video, Master Wasif is going to teach you how you can be a super cool ninja so that you can slice our fruits using just your finger. How cool is that? So without further ado, let's get started. To get started with slicing up some fruits, at first I will set my webcam. For this, we have to install OpenCV module using the command pip install opencv-contrif-python. I will not install it as I have it pre-installed in my system already. Now let's import opencv using import cv2. Next I will create a video capture object named cap and set it to 1. I have set it to 1 as I am using an external webcam. You can set it to 0 if you are using your device inbuilt webcam. After creating the video capture object, I will set its width and height to 640 and 480 respectively. Here 3 and 4 represents the width and height of the video capture object. Next I will create a while loop and set it to true. Now I will read in the feed from my webcam frame by frame and store it in img variable. Here success stores the boolean value true or false representing if the feed from a webcam is being read in successfully or not. Next I will flip the frame horizontally using cv2.flip. Now I will display the stored frame using cv2.imshow where at first I will pass in the window name, let's name it camera feed. You can give it any name you like. Then we will pass in the img variable. At last we will set a delay between each frame using cv2.waitkey. I have set it to 1. Now let's run the code. As the feed from my webcam is being read improperly, we can now move on to the next step. For hand tracking, I will use the module cvzone. You can install it using the command pip install cvzone. Now from cvzone.handtracking module, I will import hand detector. Then I will create a hand detector object named detector and set the parameters detection confidence to 0.65 and max hands equals to 1. Now using the method detector.findHands I will extract and store all the information of my hand like all the 20 landmarks of my hand if it is my left hand or right hand in hand variable and the process image in img variable. Let's see if our hand is being tracked properly or not. Here my right hand is being tracked as left hand. It's not a bug. The hand tracking module is classifying my right hand as left hand as in detector.findHands. We are passing in the flip frame from the feet of my webcam. So our hand tracking module is working just fine. As my hand is being tracked properly, I can move on to the next step that is setting up my mouse movements. This image shows all the 20 landmarks of my hand with their index value. For controlling the movement of my mouse, I will use the tip of my index finger which is represented by the index value 8. So let's get back to coding. Now if my hand is present in the frame, I will store all the 20 landmarks of my hand in variable alum list. Then from Allen list, I will extract the x and y coordinates of the tip of my index finger which is represented by the index value 8 in Allen list. Next, I will draw a circle using the x and y coordinates to show the tip of my index finger using the method cv2.circle. Now if I run the code, you can see the tip of my index finger is shown here in yellow. Now I will integrate my hand movements with the movement of my mouse. For integrating hand movements with mouse movements, I will use the package mouse. I am using the package mouse instead of PyOtoGi as PyOtoGi is a bit sluggish. You can install the mouse module using pip install mouse. Let's import mouse. Next, I will find the width and height of my screen. There are various ways to do it. 
I am going to find it in a more convenient way. Let me show it to you by opening a new python file. At first I will import mouse, then create a while loop and set it to true. Finally we will print the position of our mouse using the method mouse.getPosition. Now if I run the code, in the terminal you can see that I am getting my mouse position. Now if I take my mouse cursor at the right bottom corner of the screen, I will get my screen width as 1535 and my screen's height as 863, which ultimately means my screen size is 1536 by 864. Now as I have obtained my screen size, I will convert the coordinates of the tip of my index finger from the range of my webcam's width and height to the screen size of my device. I can do it using a method from NumPy module. You can install NumPy using pip install NumPy. Let's import NumPy as mp. Now I will convert the ranges using the method mp.interp where at first I will pass in the x coordinate, then a tuple consisting of zero and width of my webcam, followed by the tuple consisting of zero and width of my screen. I will do the same thing for the y coordinate of my index finger. Now I will pass in the new coordinates x and y, which are converted with respect to our screen size in mouse.move method. To map the controls of my hand to my mouse movements. Now let's run the code. You can see if I take my hand to the left, the mouse moves to the left. If I take my hand to the right, my mouse moves to the right. So our mouse is working properly. But there are some problems that we need to solve. If I take my hand to the edge of the screen, you can see that my hand tracking jitters and it disappears. Same thing happens if I take my hand to the bottom of the screen. My hand tracking jitters and it disappears. So we need to solve this problem. We will now have to solve this problem to make our mouse movement more smooth and convenient. For this purpose, I will use the process of frame reduction. I am not going to explain the process as I have explained the process in details in my previous video how you can make your own virtual AI mouse. I will give the link of that video in the description. You can check out the chapter Jittering Problem Solve if you want to know the process in details. Now I will create a variable frame R and set the frame reduction value to 100. Next, I will draw a rectangle in my display window where the starting coordinates will be frame R by frame R that is 100 by 100 and width and height of the rectangle will be cams width subtracted by frame R and cams height subtracted by frame R. Now I need to make one last change in np.inter. Here I will change 0 to frame R and cams width to cams width minus frame R as our new starting point is frame R and cams width minus frame R. Similarly, I will change it for the y coordinate. Now if I run the code, you can see if I move to the extreme left or extreme top, my hand tracking does not jitter nor it vanishes. We are now one step away from playing Fruit Ninja using hand gestures. Let's finish it and slice up some fruits. For pressing down my mouse lift button, I will use PyOtoGis mouse jump method. I am not using the mouse button down method of mouse module as it only clicks the left button once instead of holding down the mouse button. You can install PyOtoGi using the command pip install PyOtoGi. Now I will import PyOTG. I want to press down the left button of my mouse when my pinky finger is opened. So at first I will find which fingers of my hand are open. I will use the method detector.fingersup which will return an array of 5 numbers 
consisting of zeros and ones. Let me show you a detailed slide showing what does this array represents. Here from the slide we can see that for each of my fingers that are open the arrow stores the value 1 and for each of my fingers that are closed the arrow stores the value 0. So if my pinky finger is open the fifth value of the array will be 1. So now if my pinky finger is open I will press down the left button of my mouse using the method pyautogi.mousedown. Now it might seem that I have finished writing my code. But there is a minor bug I need to solve which occurred due to conflict between two modules. Let me explain it to you. Here when I use the mouse module to get my screen size, I got my screen size as 1536 by 864. Now in my code, when I import PyOTV, a conflict between the two modules occurs. You can see when I run the code, now the mouse module detects my screen size as 1920 by 1080 instead of 1536 by 864. So to solve this problem, I just need to change these two lines of code a bit. I will change my screen width from 1536 to 1920 and my screen's height from 864 to 1080. Finally, it's time for me to become a ninja and slice them some fruits. Let's get on to it. Raising my pinky, I will enable my hand gestures. So this was playing Fruit Ninja using hand gestures. That's it for today. See you next time. Adios.